part. Okay, today we are going to um, um, learn three characters, literally, but the or one is very uh, simple. Uh, so consider uh, two characters. Um, actually, um, um, uh, Kathy, um, your, um, your request of the uh, review, the character uh, working class and the uh, cursive class for the dance from a uh, previous class. Um, I, I, will, I will do it later, okay? After, yeah, after class, okay. uh, yeah. Well, uh, or I, I can just look again at the video, Victoria. So okay, okay, yeah. That's that's a that's a hard that's a hard that's a hard one. I know. Uh -huh. And uh, um, yeah, I, I want to make sure you know you you know it. But let's do that today's class first. Okay, I just let you know. And the next class, um, I will do the um on this red um diamond shaped. Uh, characters for uh, two characters. Um, one is um, blessing. That's the most choose for uh, Chinese people put on this kind of and at a uh, uh, Chinese New Year event. Event, uh, you know, for put on the door or on the window or you know just uh, you know for fun uh, to do it. And uh, so we are learning characters for that. Um, blessing and uh, tiger. <laughs> That's the zodiac animal for the uh, lunar uh, lunar year. Um, the next year, coming year is tiger. So tiger. Uh, so we are going to learn two characters: tiger and the blessing. Next, uh, um, I hope you yeah um, prepare the red red. This is squared paper paper. <laughs> Um, for next class and uh, um, yeah, together enjoy the Chinese New Year. Today, actually, the New Year we call, uh, it, today was the day we called um, uh, small, small Chinese New Year, which means one week uh, from the New Year's Eve, New Year Day. Uh, people start started starting to uh, go the process, you know, for uh, one week before. Uh, so after today, and the people will do like for um, uh, set a table, uh, candle, you know, for the kitchen god, and <laughs> started to prepare the New Year's food, you know, things like that. Um, and the people do this um, uh, do red red paper diamond paper and also um, on two sides of the door do the um, uh, you know the couplets uh, two lines of some um, lucky lucky words to uh, do the in line the calligraphy. Uh, okay, today we are all uh, we learn characters and we do the uh, plum and I choose the uh, color color I mean the red color red color to do colorful uh, plum. Uh, we continue to study the um, plum one uh, one of the four gentlemen in Chinese painting. Okay, let's do the characters first. Okay, let's go. Let's go through the one, and this is um, we all know um, the plum blossom uh, is the first flower in the early spring. So a branch of a, a spring instead of the branch of a plum is very common. People will know this is mean. Uh, plum blossom. Okay, uh, one, just one. <laughs> um, 
horizontal, but try to do like as a character, right? And give it some space and uh, apart from other characters. So, uh, do we want to do? I don't think it's really have the uh, walking and uh, um, uh, cursive or, or some things, you know, just the uh, simple stroke. And when you got, um, we said uh, traditionally Chinese people do uh, the the writing characters in vertical line, right? So uh, after that, uh, then the next character is the underneath in the vertical line. So you probably in walking and the cursive, you will see some place, some place uh, like it become, you know, a little bit, a little bit this kind of things. Yeah. So do not um, purposely to do the hook, you know, to emphasize on um, hook, do not do that. You will see that I, I, I explained, it's just uh, for um, next characters. <laughs> okay, that's the one. And uh, this is the, uh, a brand, a brand means branch, branch, and also um, the mesh word, for branch, so um, a branch of uh, uh, what kind of flower, what kind of flower, the mesh, mesh word for that. Okay, standard first. Um, simply we can see, right, two parts of them, right? So um, the left, left one, left one, a little bit smaller as radical, word radical we learned, and we have this a couple of, I mean, more than a couple, a few times. So different uh, um, characters, but there are plants family, right? Looks like a tree of wood, right? Horizontal, vertical, and a slant to left, and a dot for right. You know when it when the um, the word um, as a character by itself, you write like the regular size, right? A little bit wider, and uh, the right one, um, I said um, big pride, big big press, right? We say light, light slant, and the heavy um, press, but. Um, this is the character wood by itself, right? And uh, when it becomes the radical, which means uh, um, the meaning is wood or um, plants family, but um, right hand side or other parts, we have uh, uh, something else, right? Uh, just the meaning for that, that's called radical. So something on the right hand side. So we save the space for that. So the press become just a small dot. Okay, and the right hand side, small horizontal, a little bit larger, uh, vertical. Horizontal again, slant to the left. A little bit lighter, right? And the to the right, to the right, the press heavier, uh, heavier um, of the press, and also uh, this is kind of uh, go slow. See how slow I go. Um, the last stroke for the whole characters, right? So it has to be like the very stable looking for the end. Okay, that's the uh, branch or the mesh word for um, branch. Uh, very common when the wood radical become faster riding of uh, walking, right? This, and then become um, the two strokes become one, you know, 
slant and the dot become very connected and the dot is not from here. It's from the press and the lifting, something like that. So. That's the, that's the change. And the lifting and the continue with the right hand side thing, right hand side um, from this, right? And it become very quick, connect and horizontal from here. Yeah, now understand. Okay. Then the total one, two parts together. Yeah, try to uh, do not uh, leave them two apart. Uh, two apart. I mean the two part, two two parts of the one character, right? Still form it as like the uh, rectangular shape or square shape, like a whole thing. So when you understand, you understand uh, where you put the uh, uh, lighter one, give some you know um, rhythm rhythm there. See what I'm what I'm writing. I explained the connection here. Connection here is just for connecting, not the real stroke, right? So you can start to press here, here, but not all the way especially this part can be very, um, very empty, a little bit it just shows chi connection. Mm -hmm. um, cursive, in other words, running style, not that much from the walking, right? Like our real movement, uh, not that much, but looks um, more, um, I mean, for the right hand side, right hand side, uh, even more cursive, more cursive. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just and the press become even uh, faster, become the big dot, dot, right? This part probably more emphasis, right? For the little vertical, I mean, little horizontal one. Yeah, people will recognize it. Yeah, even this part, I didn't do that much connect, but actually the stroke connected when I write. Mm -hmm. Okay, clerical style, of course, um, carving wood and the think of uh, um, you are holding the knife to carving or hold the stick to write on the like a sand ground. Um, actually, this stroke, why we practice this for characters and for Chinese painting as well. Lots of uh, place we use this like a branch, a tree branch need to be show some power. And uh, uh, we say that straighten your brush, so straighten your brush, you know, to do this kind of carving, carving mood <laughs> movements. Uh, that's the way to do. Okay. Why don't you just put this here? Okay, carving, 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 carving. Use kind of um, your arm power to do that. And this style a little bit flat. In other, other words, the vertic uh, vertical not that long, right? Because um, right in line vertical, vertical style in, in vertical line. So save the space, that's what I'm guessing. Traditionally.
stroke by stroke because you are carving, right? Who's tail flying? That goes slow, slow, slow carving. So not that easy to go smooth and quick, I think. Yeah. So I hope you feel different when you write this style, right? Okay, good. Yeah, that's the way later we'll use the way to do the um, branch, tree branch. Okay, here comes spring. Anybody remember what's those characters under underneath? I know Emily is is Emily here. Emily Emily's uh, not here. She said probably in the surgery today for her um, for her eye. Yeah. Anybody know know it? Anybody know it? Sun. Beautiful, Mary Dan. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, uh, this is a, this is the sun. Because from original from circle one, right, and then um, straighten the characters. Okay, so something um, at a sunny day and come out, you know, some plants or some things. So it's a spring, spring. So with some uh, sun for the spring, I mean, for the mini. Okay, standard first. One, two, a little bit longer and longer, right? Three. I'm going to big slant. You know, slant is the clock sweeping, but slower, gradually lifting to the end and to the left, down left. And uh, no press in here, no press in here, okay? Um, but press is different. Press is a press, not only just the differences between two left and the right, right? At the end, the stroke is different. And then the sun underneath. Yeah, do not do too small, save some space for the sun because there is a meaning. <laughs> and it's underneath, but uh, you know, sometimes we got this things very big top and no space uh, for the bottom. That's why I'm reminding. Okay. Standard style. <clears throat> and then uh, walking. Walking still can tell, right? But the uh, some <laughs> less caring. <laughs> Okay, we do the do the um, some some you know from the sometimes we do very simple, quick but same stroke. We do this right, and sometimes you can even really tell uh, people just do, didn't do the bottom little vertical uh, to seal it. Um, instead, people do like this, this, and center first, you know, do that. And without, you know, putting stroke, just, uh, you know, leave it like that. It's all possible. Sometimes you cannot really tell and uh, you need to watch very, uh, carefully to see that, but I will let you know 
we can all uh, do. What's that, Henry? You got phone call or a cell phone? Okay, just show some some um based on the uh, standard, show some connection. One, two, three, uh, uh, and then uh, uh, uh. or you know, each time might be a little bit different. And uh, um, you know, some people's writing, uh, even for same pe same people expert, each time a little bit different. Of course, that's why we call calligraphy is art. <laughs> okay, this mm -hmm. kind of, uh, um, I mean, cursive style, uh, running style is really uh, running and uh, change change some things, especially under um, and the bottom things. Bottom things become really um, in this case. In this case, so upper uh, upper side. Hmm. Uh, the bottom bottom become really like a like a, <coughs> this just this based on very clear uh, form of upper part and the bottom become, okay, after that, there's something underneath, that's it. And the, the top part is the change the order for the stroke, horizontal and then vertical. You can tell from trace, right? Vertical. And then center horizontal, but to half of them, and then the longer horizontal and do the sun things. Do it more um, smooth. Smooth here, huh? Okay. And then a clerical style. Clerical style easier to tell. You know, the big slant is not big slant. Um, it's actually um, the vertical. And then um, to the left, this, uh, uh, the slant, not the whole big one. Uh, we talked about this is actually uh, the earlier stage, right? For the clerical style compared with the, uh, the one we do um, before. I'm in this class. This is the our, our earliest, uh, just after the seal script. Uh, seal, uh, uh, seal script. So um, on the hard surface for carving, it's not hard, not easy to do the um, really long slant, right? So two strokes, two strokes, vertical and the slant. I mean later for easier um, writing on paper, uh, people do. Uh, the big um, two strokes become one, right? Vertical and the small slant become the whole big, bigger slant. Okay, so that's right, this deal. I mean, this uh, characters. One, a little bit of flat looking, right? Say vertical line place. <laughs> So carving style um, at the beginning and at the end for the stroke, there is not that much like a dog bone looking thing, right? Because carving, but still backstroke, conceal the tip. And the uh, um, slant to the left and right is still different, right? Um, the right one with the press, and we call it uh, goose tail flying. But the left one, uh, slant, is just a you know bounce back a little bit. Mm. 
even more squarish on the sample. Also in this style, each stroke normally very touched, you know, because carving. Looks different to huh, from the stand from the standard, more um, dignified looking. Because <laughs> it's carving mood. Okay. Um, and what else? Um, <laughs> this is the characters for a uh, female. Um, in Chinese painting, um, in the painting book, and the Chinese people all know that um, the techniques for how to learn the uh, painting of a Chinese um, painting for uh, plum branch, branch. The form we call um, character of a female, character of a female. What is that? Um, you probably don't, do not really uh, need to use that character for a lot. But lots of lots of with these radicals, mm -hmm. like mother, mom, <laughs> with this female radical. Mm -hmm. um, but we will learn the structure um, for the branch later. Um, so we are learning calligraphy better. We learn this, and also I don't know um, if you have the experience to travel in China on the on um, on the uh, I mean the restroom <laughs> everywhere you will see the characters for the you know uh, the female on the door or there is a sign for that. Mm -hmm. um, do not really want you to learn how to write it, so I only put two uh, styles to for me to explain things. Uh, I only uh, put it like the uh, standard style and, uh, um, you know, this is become walking or cursive, uh, walking or running, uh, like something in between um, could be. Okay. I will do it very quick. Okay, slant, right? And the big press, right? Two strokes, right? And the other strokes, and then horizontal strokes, you know, this is the, for the uh, female, right? And uh, when it become, when it become um, walking style, did we always say like a two strokes can become one stroke, right? Uh, cause from standing, standard style, right? From standing, start to walk, you cannot really tell which is left step, right step, step by step, right? Cannot really tell. Then become, so those two, those two become very quick. become that, right? And uh, after slant, horizontal one become not that, you know, individual, like a dog bone looking things. So it's become like a one big things and it, this things, this things, and something across. Right, and the tail things 
the tail things is just uh, I explained like in every other characters, just to show some tendency uh, movements goes ready for next next characters. So do not on purpose do that. It's just, uh, you know, this kind of things. Okay, and uh, look at the branch. We are going to do the colorful one, the colorful one. What's the basic three strokes? It's like what? To something three. Is it like the walking or cursive style, like this female character? You understand? You understand? So, yes. yes. So the um, the or orchid. Remember orchid in the four gentlemen's painting. We talk about the orchid. Three strokes. Three strokes. Right. Three strokes. One, whatever go, we could open the sky, open the sky. And the second stroke, this is the one, right? And the second stroke, cross it to make the phoenix eye, right? This is the second stroke, about the same direction, but shorter and makes the phoenix eye, right? And the third one to the other direction we call to break, break the eye. Honestly, that? that's the orchid, right? That's orchid. But for the plum branch, for the plum branch, what's that? Even people, um, you do not understand the Chinese probably easy way to remember three strokes. What are three? Like the Y, like the Y, the letter Y, letter Y, okay? One, one, long one, whatever direction, but long one, right? Long one. And there is the other one, the, the small one, Right, the small one. And how, 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 you know, for probably from other, other branch, the little branch, you know, to crop, to crop, to cross things. That's the very basic strokes. And you will see instead of the soft stroke for the like orchid for the eye, we call it phoenix eye, right? You will see some triangle, triangle, cause it's hard, stiff branch, not soft orchid leaves, right? Leaves is the eye. And this is the um, triangle, triangle, or some kind of um, like irregular um, rectangular shaped some things. And uh, Chinese people, because very familiar with the female, the characters for the female, Chinese call that, you know, female character looking thing. But now you understand, right? Three strokes, three strokes, like a two, two, not very, not very, uh, not, not, not equal, long and short, short, long one, and the short one, right? That's probably some root things here. And uh, whatever from the short or from the long one, you know, something, you will have the little branch, right? Not only this two, right? Little branch, 
you know, to cross. That's the very basic branch for plum already. And uh, see how close, like I explained the character of the female. <laughs> you understand? Yes. Yes, 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 okay. Yes, okay. And then you, of course, you can you add more things, right? But eventually when you check, um, do I really do the plum? People always say, can you really see, you know, those kind of three, uh, you know, you can add more, of course. But basically like that. And also some people, you know, when you do practice, you can even try this. Just do the triangle, do the triangle, like save some eye, save some space first. You know, to say whatever you do the you do the tri tri triangle things. <clears throat> and uh, you can extend it, extend it to different direction, right? Try it. Fun. It's fun. Okay, that's one. And try to not absolutely straight, right? And uh, you know, any kind of uh, <clears throat> triangle things. You make from, and then you can do more thing, you know, later to do. And the try to avoid, of course, triangle things, try to make this, try to avoid absolute, absolute horizontal or absolute vertical, right? It's hard to extend or continue to work. Huh? Okay. Okay. Now, um, let's do the uh, today's work. Can you see some, uh, this is very typical, typical um, and simple, probably not the uh, most beautiful, later you can do yourselves, but very clear for, our to, for us to learn. Can you see the triangle, some space there? Yes, yes. <laughs> and can you see the two, I mean, three sides, three, uh, three side, three sides for the, uh, the triangle? I mean, three stroke for the branch looks like that, right? Like the Y and the something a little cross, you know, the small branch can cross other, other stroke of the Y, right? That's the basic, that's plum. And why we say that much for the uh, branch thing, for the structure, plus for the plum blossom, did you notice? No leaf, no leaf. <laughs> Okay, that's why to see the branch very clear and very important, make it correct. <laughs> no leaf on plum blossom, blossom tree when it's flowering, when's uh, when the blossoms there. Um, white, white paper. Okay, and uh, uh, look at the step-by-step, step. I choose this sample, step-by-step. Step. Um, 
to you know you do do not have to put your paper on and exactly copy it but i try to explain and then let you understand it so when you understand you read the sample first right and when you understand the, the uh, things, um, you know, you read it and get the information from that's, oh, okay, uh, where is this joke? And uh, one point is you save, you save some a little bit to lost and found for the branch. And for later, you put the flower on. Some people do the flower first to, for saving the space, but kind of hard uh, to do. You can do that, but uh, I think easier for me uh, to do the uh, branch first and save a little bit, you know, to do. Okay, do the branch powerful, but uh, not very uh, straight, a little bit ar arching, right? Save some space, right? Continue to go, go, go. Something like that. And the sec second stroke. Yeah, look at the sample and you understand the meaning. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. Right. And uh, see the Y shape, two strokes there already, right? Already. <laughs> then uh, how to make the third stroke, third stroke to cross it? Uh, you know, the little, uh, the little branch from the one stroke for the Y, right? Little branch, small branch for crossing. Clerical style writing some things. <laughs> powerful. Okay, then I can let add some things later. And this winter flower, first spring flower, doesn't have to be, I mean, that much things. Not parallel, okay. You can add things, um, I mean, even later, you know, this kind of a little bit of parallel can, you know, add, 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 add some, some things to break, break it. <laughs> okay, now we can um, work on the uh, flower thing. And for the flower, um, it's in group, in group. And there is things, um, you make sure for the flower. In the group, but dance and the uh, Sparks. That's for the flower, huh? That's for flower group. Yeah, look at the sample and you will understand what I'm thinking. Not Victoria, each one. Yes. Victoria, we can't see, I can't see your words to the left. If you move your yeah, okay, dense and sparse. Okay, thank dense you. And sparse uh, for okay. the flower uh, in group. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so I said, do not exactly copy it, but you need to understand, you know, do not copy it one by one, but you need uh, in your mind, um, you know, some. Uh, some the um, the front front one and the side one and the little bud you know in the group some even you over overlap cannot really see the whole um, perfect uh, flower right individually but in the group but the, this group doesn't um, not even always sparse and dense. 
Okay, I'm going to do the color one. And uh, do you have do you have a color today? Um, I I'm sorry, I forgot to put on the uh, handout. Yeah, get 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 the color. Um, I use uh, white um, and uh, uh, red. The white is just for um, for some more showy um, for the red. Try to make some um, opaque color for the plum um, blossom. So white, white is really dry. And then red. And we learned the shape last time, right? Can we see the handout well, very well? Okay, um, then which one we want first? Uh, we want to front one first one, right? Okay, remember, uh, uh, with some angle will be beautiful. Um, five petals do not make the same. So, no. Big one, two, three, and the fourth and the fifth, you do a little bit, you know, slant brush. The fourth, the fifth. Okay, and uh, you do the other one. The alt shape try to uh, make it. Round, round, right, round shaped. And you need, we say, uh, dense and sparse. We need a lot of kind of the dot, dots, things, but um, not the perfect, it's still but, right? The dot, some, some small and some, you know, some you just make, cannot uh, define is uh, from uh, which pedal or some things. And do not for, uh, do not make it, I mean, totally uh, facing you. As we said, one to two, the most front one or front one. Some side one, right? Can put. Yeah, in a in a group, in a group. Yeah. 
even some back one, right? Same thing for back one, you do not do the same size for um, each flower. You know, you can do anytime you add uh, the little one when you feel uh, you like, we talk about the very basic three strokes, right? And then you can add, add, add some things, definitely add some small one when you feel you want. And some just a thought, because it is winter, an early uh, stage, uh, some just didn't, didn't really grow um, mature. Okay, and the, um, the bottom for the flower, the back, there is some things, and you can always back and, back and forth do um, things. Feel here, it's too. I can add some things. Okay, for the uh, back of the flower, remember, we do just, a, if a side, we do the, the, this, right? Can you see? Uh -huh. And uh, the absolute back, you do things like that, right? Okay, I will do some uh, back things and uh, uh, kind of the connect to the flower to the um, uh, the, the the branch. Some just a dot, you know, on the side, indicated this is the back. But you know, for the whole flower, uh, whole for the whole painting, you need. Um, some things to uh, make a dot. Yeah, right, we have our experience. Uh, which one I'll try to make the back? Okay, this one. Okay. No center, just something. You know, some some undefined, you can just make some dot there. And uh, okay, the flower um, centered things I can do. Try to use a smaller brush easier because otherwise 
very easy to do, to smell it. <laughs> Always get the testing paper to try, see if you are uh, fresh, dry enough or small enough to do center things. Okay, for the, the center things, if the flower is a side view, uh, I'm a little bit angry. So you do not do even, right? Only one side. I mean, not on this this side pedal, right? And some dot. Okay, and the, this one, two. And the very random dot, not each stroke, each dot. Mm -hmm. And some uh, like the uh, down looking one, you only see some dot in the center, right? Some dot, very small dot, some dot things. Oh, they're center things. <laughs> and uh, better put some, seems this far in the air. Yeah, put some dot there. Here, actually, I make sparse dance and the sparse. <laughs> I think I got plenty uh, flower already. Okay, so uh, center things for the side one. I you know you really can can see a little a little bit. You know probably. Okay, this um, back one, probably you can do a little work on that. <laughs> you know, from the side. Mm. That's beautiful. And uh, um, for the plum, can go every directions. You know, even see my this one, when I do that, see a little bit like the downward this this one. So I do I can do a little bit, <laughs> and uh, this one, um, I don't know, just the back. I think I think that's how much um, I got basically. If you have time, you can do uh, something else, but sometimes just doesn't make it better. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to write like a one, branch of uh, spring. For the title. Because it's from like the an old branch from the winter, I try to use a um, uh, clerical style. more dignified things, right? One. Uh, 
crunch. Spring, I'm writing. You can choose a different style we learned today, whatever you like. Okay. Okay, and uh, um, the year of the lunar year is still um, the word we learned. <laughs> And then my name. And then uh, name seal. Make sure each side, each stroke got the ink. And then rubber pad or a piece of magazine, but not slippery underneath. Gently put it on and then press it very hard. Um, make sure each side, each side, four sides are touched and the center touched and then lift with the left hand to hold the paper. I got. Okay, so that's uh, about uh, very simple uh, plum blossom. Of course, you can make a whole uh, uh, paper of the um, branch, um, I mean, the blossom all over the paper, but a branch of uh, uh, this uh, is the, you know, spring just to start. So it's just a good, I mean, the in, in, enough um, and, um, with some sports and the dance. And if you have time, you do more. Um, so um, how about how about you? Uh, still with me? <laughs> and uh, have fun <laughs> to have fun to do it. Have fun to do it. Okay. Um, okay, today today's class is how much uh, we do. And uh, Kathy, I'm do very very quick, very quick for you for the uh, the the dance, the dance from previous previous class and the people you uh, other people you can you can leave and I will put the um, picture for whatever I did good or bad in the classroom let you to um, to review remember recall how I explained how I uh, teach taught uh, in the uh, class um, actually um because the word is the 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 dance the dance the dance right and when I you know when I choose this um uh, word um I was thinking of you Kathy because uh, you are uh you are learning the dance and it very it very important okay the standard style say you understand right that's this and uh, the standard I get. It's, yeah, it was yeah, the yeah, walking yeah. in. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think uh, I like to, um, you know, uh, keep those four, keep those four very, very clear, like the four, um, uh, like four in group, you know, uh, girls dance. 
like for yeah for um how we say we say the whole uh, the the four four goose dance you know the uh, the ba the ballet uh, very famous <laughs> yeah so keep this four and uh, a standard first okay this part and this part right this part right uh, you got okay how to make the um, very quick the walking and the dance I will just do once you know do this for the top and continue to do one two three four one two three four and uh, continue with this continue with this this and look. see what I'm doing left one and the big right one okay yeah okay and uh, you try to do this kind of things I think is uh, my, my 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 favorite <laughs> yeah or you do each time a little bit a little bit different you know the four can be a little clear or a little bit uh but in a in a group to keep this four, I think more clear and it's, it's, it's beautiful, like a girl in group in the line to do things. You know oh, something. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, All right, thank you. Yeah, have fun to do. <laughs> and Victoria, I posted uh, some practice. Yeah, I, I, only the, I only saw the words. I didn't see any any practicing piece. Yeah, it's on there. I oh, I, I did a, a little bit of cursive of cold, and I, then I oh, explained. Oh, oh. So yeah, I it's it's right underneath your uh you know your post. Oh, oh okay okay so, so recent. I didn't check this morning. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, I posted it like a few days ago. Oh, a few days ago. So, yeah. I'm sorry, I I'm, I'm I missed. I will check. I only see your saw your words. Uh, and yesterday, yeah. Henry reminded me. Okay, I will check later. Sorry, yeah. Kathy. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, thank you. I'll check later. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.